Hey folks, JD here, and today is part two of the JD 20S uh, flights and what have we got so far? Well, let's have a little bit of a recap for those of you that haven't seen part one. It's in the description. Check it out if you haven't. Right, this is the upgraded version of the JD 20. So far, things in part one we tried that worked. Flight plan, try, uh, using smartphone as its main controller, using its main transmitter as well, its physical transmitter. 360 flips, left and right only, not forward and back, on both smartphone and on transmitter. Photos and videos, both worked so far. Video is less, than, is, 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 is passable, it's, it's not very good. Um, motors seem to work very well, they're very quiet, which is good, it's a nice little upgrade. Also, we have um, battery life is very strong. We also have LEDs are very bright. We also have, uh, did I mention 360 flip? It's in the smartphone as well. Voice activated controls, they work. Flight plan works. So far, it's working. So I brought it back out again today. Let's give her another try. I've put a new battery inside her. Let's see exactly how she goes. Now, we've already done the configuration, so this is just going to be the flight. If you want to see the configuration, check out part one. All right then, folks, let's do this. Right, I do have one correction to make on part one. I did turn around and say that everything worked. Well, there was something that didn't work, and I did notice that the Wi-Fi signal was jittery, and the video was breaking up, and I totally forgot to mention it. So, as you can see, it is jittery. Uh, I think I mentioned it as a, as just as, as a text correction in um, the first part of the video, but I can't 100% be sure, so I thought I'd let you know. So. Right, so far, again, we're looking at quite a nice little flight. Again, no problems with her movements. She, it's just astounding that she is quite literally as good as she says she is. Um, because you often see that, you know, there are things that either don't work for you, but work for somebody else. And... I get a lot of questions. Hey, how did you get, how did you get that to work? And I also give questions to a lot of other uh, reviewers as well, just saying, hey guys, how did you get that to work? I've tried everything, and people normally say, oh well, try this or try that or try this app instead of this or or something like that. And as soon as I know, I let you guys know. But to have everything sort of work just one after each other is just well, it's quite astounding. So let's just go through a couple of these extra con extra things and see exactly where we end up. So let's bring it down a little bit. Let's move her around slightly. Let's give another go to these little flips. So she chucks herself up as she does with, as you find with any other quadcopter. She does lift herself up before she flips and then she tends to try and find her, uh, her first original possession just using the barometer and the pressure reader just to ensure that she is hopefully at the same level. And it's quite accurate. And then, no, okay, that one wasn't. Uh, but you usually find that either she carries on from the level that she was at or she raises up slightly uh, now and again though if you are quite close to the floor she will tend to just kind of well do what she's doing now and just kind of start to sink slightly so just give her a bit more height and she should be fine but again it's i'm finding it quite astounding that she is just able to to do the things that she says um right i tell you what i'm going to try Let's bring her down. Let's, I'm hopeless in this mode, right? So I don't want people to say, oh my God, you're hopeless, because I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to quite literally just try headless mode. I want to see how it, how it goes. I'm hopeless in it. I'm not expecting to fly it well. Don't tell me how badly I fly it, because I know, but I'm going to give it a shot. So with you having the due course set in front of you, click headless mode, LEDs will flash. You're now in headless mode. So your orientation is always front. So, and I find this mode very, as you can probably tell by the way that I'm piloting her, very, very confusing. Uh, I tend not to fly headless mode for a number of different reasons. One of them being, I never learnt it. I learnt uh, the other way and I do find it maximum confusing I really do um, headless mode you still got the left and right still two beeps to the right before you flip just uh, just just to let you know didn't notice that before right let's bring her back let's take her out of headless mode 
I really don't like it. I really don't like it. I mean, I've forgotten what it's called. I know my father-in-law has taught me a few times when you learn a particular way and then you can't learn the other way because your brain is used to you doing it the, the first way. I can't remember what, what it's called. But um, that's basically what it comes down to anyway. And that doesn't help anyone at all. It's just a rant, you know, I'm just, just rambling now probably. But again, she seems to be very, very good. I like her, I do. I'm gonna be bringing her out a few more times. But as I say, as, and as I said in the first video, I think what she's missing is she is missing optical flow. Optical flow is right around about this time. Everybody is kind of doing it. And I know it's quite nice not to do it, but so many people have not done it in the past. And you're kind of standing out now if you do have optical flow. And a lot more people are decided to buy your products with optical flow as well. So what I would have done for this is I would have sucked it up because I, I, I'm, I'm pretty much guessing that the first one, the JD20, sold a lot. I've seen it all over YouTube and I'm guessing they sold quite a fair few units and I think if they would attached optical flow to this then I think it would have been a runaway winner because you've got features that work you it's 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 great it really is okay speed mode 2 let's get her cranked up a little bit and see exactly how she does again she's very responsive very, very, very responsive. And those motors aren't screaming either. And I appreciate that. I don't like whiny, screechy motors. I think it happened a lot in 20, the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, because that was pretty much the motor technology that they had. But now motor technology has, you know, has moved as with all technology. And you are finding that or at least I'm finding, that motors are getting, and even brushed, are getting a lot quieter than what they used to. And it's, it's very, very, very refreshing. Ah, speed mode two is good. Speed mode two is good. Speed mode three though requires a bit more height. <laughs> so I just had to stop her from pitching forward there just to level her off a bit and bring her up a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, she's, uh, I'm just using, just using pitch and yaw as I always do when I turn. And, uh, yeah, so far, her attack formation is altered, as you'd expect. Still got Wi-Fi breakup, but I'll post exactly what it is that I have. But she is, she's going very, very well. Back to speed mode one, bring her down a little bit. Oh, flies, you really are. You're not going to be on my Christmas card list, I swear. Right. Yeah, all in all though. And those LEDs, as soon as you, you turn, if you're ever slightly confused and you can't see uh, the LEDs as to which orientation you are, as soon as you turn the, the quadcopter around, you have those two glaring LEDs right smack bang in your face. Do you know what? It's, it really does stand out. Really does stand out. So again, this, this video is more of a battery test. I just want to see if we're getting consistent, consistent results with the first and second battery. We should do, but different, different batteries are different, aren't they? You know, different cells. Some cells may be performing better. Some batteries may have been tested to a higher standard. So it's always nice just to whack the same, whack a different battery in, and see exactly how it goes. But uh, yeah, she's responding well. She is. And it's nice just to have something where you can have a proper flight with that isn't six minutes. I mean, I can see this particular company sort of maybe moving out of the toy grade quadcopter market in the coming years. Because if they put in this much effort into one of their, one of their so-called toy, toy quads, if you like the categorization, then hopefully they're going to start doing what Unique are doing and what a lot of the other ones are doing and that is going for 4K video cameras, video quads, especially if they're under 250 grams, they'll be onto a runaway winner. What with the UK going 200, or oh, gone 250, uh, going 250 rather. Okay, now I can't see those LEDs again. No, LEDs are fine. I couldn't see them last time because they were flashing. 
again, it's just great responsiveness from this drone. Really, really great responsiveness from this drone. I brought it down a little bit too low there. I mean, I do find, let's just try some yaw turning. See, not overly slow. The first one was very slow, I remember that. But, and that's something that I remember right the way through now. I haven't watched the original video back because I wanted to come at this from a clean perspective. But I do remember it being very slow because I remember that really annoyed me. And I did actually make a second JD20 video that I never released. So maybe I'll do it on the back of this one perhaps. Uh, but that's got me with very crazy hair and a very crazy beard. Maybe I'll release that one. I don't know. Perhaps. Okay. Again, a little bit more distance this time. It seems to be good. Seems to be no problem. Oh, bring her down a little bit. She is slightly too high there for me. I'll take some of these advanced quads up very high, but some of the toy ones I'm still wary. Still wary. Not that I've had anything that really has made me wary, but at the same time, you've just got to be wary. You've got to use your brain, haven't you? Ah, oh, this mist is rolling in. It's quite nice. Around she goes. Yeah, all in all though, I'm really quite impressed. Let's check those LEDs. Come on. Ooh, yeah, we're fine. Let's put it into speed mode two. I flew the first one speed mode two for a while. Her movements are great. I'm just shaking her around a bit just to see, just a little bit of roll. And she's, yeah. <laughs> I'm quite astounded. I really am. If you haven't had good experiences with this, let me know. I'm always interested to find out what experiences people have had with, with certain quadcopters. Those LEDs are still good, so we're still okay from a battery perspective. Those 1800 milliamp hour batteries, they really are doing this justice. They really are. I mean, I was, the first video, on transmitter, off transmitter, on to smartphone, off smartphone, on transmitter, off transmitter, and it, it just, it held out really well. Through the speed modes, ooh, I let it get a little bit too low there. Come on, John, wake up. LEDs still looking good. I'm just trying a couple of different formations just to break it up a little bit rather than just flying back and forth, back and forth. And one thing I did notice as well from the first video is, oh, there's the battery. There we are, let's bring it back. One thing I did notice from the battery as well, oh, is she coming down? Yes, she is. Just very, very slowly. I thought we had another Ishin there where it wouldn't come down. Um, right, one thing I did notice as well. Uh, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm doing that a lot recently. Right, LEDs flashing. Let's bring her down. Let's bring her down. Come on. Come on, and... This is not doing the batteries. Uh, the motor's any good. Come on, are you going to turn off totally? Whoa, no, it's just kicked off again. Right, let's hold down the down button and see whether that makes any difference. No, still going. Still going. Okay, well, this might be a good test. Let's knock off the transmitter and let's see exactly how this does. It should turn off within a few seconds. But that should be if it's level. It's not level. Are you going to turn off there, folks? No. See? Right, okay. This is the first thing. It's not turning off. I've got the transmitter off. Maybe because there's a connection straight to the smartphone as well. So let's knock off that. 
let's ah yeah that's what it was it was because the connection was being kept, kept he held open by the smartphone well that makes sense right so thoughts I still stand by it I did didn't try as many features this time this was just more of a battery thing I just wanted to compare whether or not we had adequate or similar results from this battery here and this one in here um, motors are ooh motors are very warm okay now there is area there are aeration holes around here so the motors will breathe but they're still a lot warmer than what, than what I like but that being said again I, I like her I do I do I do I do I do and I'm gonna leave it a few weeks I'm gonna bring her back out I'm gonna test her again and see whether I still think exactly the same this is why I like doing these retests um, but first of all a marked improvement on the first one a good upgrade I think a good upgrade I really like her flies really well smartphone uh, flies really well as well obviously you can't take her out as, as far I didn't either I just took her around in a big circle just in front of me uh, features work well as well so all in all yeah I like this guy and we're going to be seeing a bit more of this in the future all right then folks I hope you've enjoyed thanks ever so much for watching and listening I've been JD you've been fantastic as always god damn flies if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers I hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying <laughs>